Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to properly install Arcluna. I know everyone's having trouble with installing this. So here's a quick video on how to do it. So once you've downloaded the setup file, um, double click it. So it's gonna start the language. Just press next. Then here you have the option to move it. Um, I would suggest those that has a different drive to move it. Um, so for example, I have a couple of drives over here I can move it onto C or D so I'm gonna move it to my D, D drive so now it's there um, I'm gonna name it two probably because I already have I think I have one there next just press on next create desktop icon and just allow it to install I just have to wait for it to install um, while we wait for it to install um, the problem here is because um, Luna has been an old game, so running it on on new on you know, operating systems is having a hard time, especially with updated um, Direct X9, um, Direct X version. Over here, um, initially it was created for Direct X version 9.0 C, and now the current Direct X version for Windows um, 7 and up is actually Direct X 11. For Vista, I think it, they have DirectX 10. So that's a basic problem um, that I have with the clients. And I know everyone's have, have different operating systems and all. So this tutorial is basically for those that run on Windows 7 or 8. And might be applicable for those that has Vista. Um, might not be applicable for XP, but XP should shouldn't have really much problems running the client since that was the original operating system it was meant to be installed on and yeah so that's basically it. we just have to wait for this installer to finish it's gonna take a few more seconds to finish Installer is about 1.01 gig, so it's not that big. However, others might have problems downloading it. We have a lot of options downloading it. Um, you can see that over here. Let me open this and show you guys where you can download it. But apparently, I think my connection is really just slow. Right there. So. Click on download over here to download the page. And you can have any of these mirror files. You can click any of these. For example, here should open up um, a drive where they're, they're from different sources. So, yeah, once you finish downloading them, um, you can choose to launch, but I suggest not to. So, we're going to have to do some manipulation so we're gonna have to move on to drive D where I installed it and here are two and what we want to do is go on to this one um d3d9.dll so we want to delete that press delete and for the launcher uh, go to properties see arc launcher um go to compatibility Make sure you run it on the administrator. This one doesn't really matter for he, for this file, so give it a try and hit OK. And for the client, this one, it, you have to click on properties again, then compatibility, um, administrator, and this one as well. You can run on service pack 3 or 2. If it doesn't work on 3, you can click try 2. And that should be. That's it. So you run our launcher. It should automatically patch up itself. That's downloading. And currently, there is no Luna ver info that we're. The version file isn't here yet, so it should download it. Once it download completes, it should be able to um, have the version file along with the updated client. So that's it. I hope this video would help a lot of those that have troubles with making or making the client work 
Um, if you have any more problems, um, you can go to the forums and message me there, or you can post up in the support assistance section, or you can write a post over there, or ask around its chat box or forums. So that's it. I hope this video would help a lot of you guys. Um, you just have to wait for this download to finish, and you should be able to play. And thank you guys for your support. Um, if this video helped, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe button. Um, as always, have a great day. See you guys in game.